Assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel in this part we are going to continue solving from the textbook from 3c question number 17 is very similar to question number 18 and with most of you I have solved question number 17 so I will continue with question number 18 so this is our question that sine x minus alpha is equal to cos x plus alpha Prove that 10x is equal to 1. This is the only case when we will solve the right hand side and the left hand side together. Because they are not asking us to prove that your left hand side is equal to the right hand side. They are asking you to prove something totally different. So using the addition formula, x minus sine x minus alpha, this one, expand we'll get sine x cos alpha minus cos x sine alpha and the cos a plus b this formula is equal to cos x cos alpha minus sine x sine alpha what i'm telling you now is something important it is not necessarily with proving any time you want to change to 10 you want to find 10 x or sign and a cos involved if your alpha is alpha or theta or some other word they put there or it is an angle which is not from the special angle maybe it is 15 maybe it is 20 whatever it is it is not your normal special angle like 30 45 60 or the multiples then this is the technique we use whatever you have here you got cos x cos alpha divide each term by cos x cos alpha each term because we want to turn to 10 x right so we want sine on the top and we want cos down cos alpha cos x cos alpha and same here the sin x and cos x will turn into 10 x cos alpha cos alpha will get cancelled here the cos x and cos x will get cancelled we will get negative 10 alpha we are turning the sine over cos to 10 using this identity and here the whole thing will get cancelled if everything gets cancelled it doesn't become a zero there's a one there like suppose if you are dividing four by four what do you get when you put in the calculator you get one not a zero so keep that in mind and sine over cos x will give me 10 x sine alpha over cos alpha will give me 10 alpha always group the like terms together we have 10 x here and here so bring them on one side and when you do the sign will change it's going to become positive 10 x 10 alpha is equal to 1 and this 10 alpha when you shift it's going to become positive 10 alpha factorize the 10 x out so many of you just you know fear the word factorize it's not difficult look here there is 10x and there is 10x if nothing there is a 1 there so if I'm going to factorize the 10x out what am I left with 1 plus 10 alpha so divide it by moving it to the other side as it is a multiply One plus ten alpha divided by one plus ten alpha because the terms are same this will cancel out and we are left with one so we proved what they asked us to prove question number 20 most of the questions are quite easy you just have to expand and solve I will do question number F we have 10 a plus 10b 
is equal to sin a plus b over cos a cos b. We will use the left hand side as we can change to 10a into what can we change sin a cos a and 10b can be written as sin b cos a. Already we can see that in the denominator what we want we have now for the numerator you need to Whenever you add or subtract a fraction you need to have a common denominator. So It's basically that you multiply year by cos b and on the top by cos b and year by cos a and on the top by cos a this will give us sin a cos b plus sin b i will change that and write my cos first because of my identity and now the denominator is same we can write it as one most of you have not learned this method this is the right method you have not learned it what you learn is that you cross multiply if that's the way you understand, it's totally fine. Sin A multiplied by cos B will be sin A cos B. Cos A multiplied by sin B will be cos A sin B. Look at your identities. What does it represent? It is sin A plus B. So instead of the whole thing, this is the whole thing we found. We write A plus B. And in the denominator, we have cos A, cos B. This is equal to our right-hand side. If you have any questions, you can message me with the question number, exercise number, question number, and what you didn't understand. I will try to explain that to you. Question number 28G. This looks a little complicated. You can see there is a double angle formula here, 10 a plus b and in the denominator. But if you look closely, you will be able to see it represents, there's a negative in the middle and a positive down. So it represents the sixth identity, 10 a minus b. I will try to make it easy. What we will do is we will select a plus b equal b so wherever there is a plus b we are going to write 10 b minus 10 a over 1 plus 10 b 10 a this represents a minus b this is equal to 10 a sorry p minus a our P is A plus B, correct? Our P is A plus B. And we got a negative A. This will get cancelled and we are left with 10A. Sorry, 10B. The main thing in proving is to be able to identify which of the identities that you can use while solving we have finished proving from exercise 3c now we are going to start from 3d this exercise has the most number of proving questions we will start with question number 12a the question is cos 2a over cos a plus sin a is equal to cos a minus sin a this is the double angle formula. Let's go there. Where's the double angle formula for cos 2a? Cos double angle formula, there are three identities. Depending on what the need is, you use that. We have a cos a plus sin a, cos a minus sin a. So we are going to use the one where there's the both cos and sin. Cos square a minus sin square a over cos a plus sin a. 
I'm sure till now everyone must know what's the next step a square minus b square. So we will write cos a minus sine a over cos a plus sine a. Sorry, not over. In the bracket cos a plus sine a divided by cos a plus sine a. And this gets cancelled. We are left with cos a minus sine a which is equal to our right hand side. Moving on to the next question, 12p. Sin a over sin b plus cos a over sin cos b is equal to 2 sin bracket a plus b sin 2b. Either way will work right or left, but the right hand side has the identity. It will be easier to expand it. So we will choose the right hand side and expand the identity. On the top we have the double uh, sorry the addition formula for a plus b. Just you have to copy this down. But remember there is you are multiplying by 2. So that is important when you are writing the 2 must be before both the terms. 2 cos a sin a. I hope it is clear. The whole thing is over sin 2b. We can separate them out. 2 sin a cos b plus 2 cos a sin b over sin 2b. Instead of writing sin 2b, I am going to go straight to the identity of sin 2. It is 2 sin a over cos a. Because we got sin 2b, we will write it as 2 sin b over cos b. And here also. This is the concept we use when we are simplifying for differentiation or integration. We split up, we simplify, right? This will get cancelled. The 2 will get cancelled. Here also the 2 will get cancelled. And the sign B will get cancelled. We have now sign A over sign B plus cos A over cos B. And that is equal to our left hand side. The next will continue in part 3 as the video becomes very long. Thank you for watching. Do share it with your friends. If you have any queries, you can ask me. And if you like the video, please uh, like the video. If I have helped you, please like the video. Give comments on the video. Share it with your friends. And question number 12C from 3D onwards, we will solve in the next part. Thank you for watching.